from everyday common applications of the interaction between electricity and magnetism are motors, generators, and transformers. If we start off with a DC motor, then um, what the DC motor is doing is transforming electrical energy into mechanical energy. So it's taking electricity, using that energy from the, the flow of current, and turning that into something that can move. Um, and so what you have is current flowing through a wire, and when that wire, loop of wire, is placed in a magnetic field, the interaction between that flowing current and magnetic field cause that coil to move, rotate around. It wants to spin. And if you use that spin to make things move, and probably the easiest example is, you know, real straightforward, you've got a fan. And so when you plug that in, inside the little motor, there's a mag magnet with north and south, creates the field, there's current carrying wire in there causing the rotation that makes the fan blade move. And we can do this, we can do the reverse of this by actually turning a wire in a magnetic field. And when you do that, when you turn that wire in the magnetic field, you create a current. And so it's not a DC current, it ends up being an AC current. And so in this case, you're taking mechanical energy, you turning a handle or, or something making a turn, uh, turning that loop of wire in the magnetic field, and then that's going to create electrical energy. And it is an AC current because the direction of the current is going to depend on the orientation of the loop into the magnetic field. So when it's perpendicular to the field, the loop is. Then there is no current, and then when it lies parallel to the magnetic field, there is a current, Once and then it flips back around and back around. Um, when it is upside down, the current is going to be negative, which is kind of different. And our last one is a transformer, and this is a little bit complex. Uh, it's a very simple device, but there's a few steps in here, and once, if you listen carefully to the steps, you'll understand what's happening. You start off with an AC current. And the AC current runs through the wires, and that wire is coiled around some sort of magnetic material in its core. And so it's coiled around, and when you have this moving current that's constantly changing directions, it creates a magnetic field in that core. And then once it creates a magnetic field on one side of the core, it's everywhere in that metal core. And so on the secondary side of the transformer, there's another coil of wire. You've got this magnetic field going back and forth and changing directions, and it creates an alternating current in the secondary coil which then sends a current out to the rest of the circuit. And transformers are used to change the voltage. There's, there's two, basically a step up transformer increases the voltage and a step down transformer decreases the voltage. And it's all in the setup. And it's how many coils are on one side compared to the other. And that, that will change the current. So here's the equation for um, figuring out what's happening with your transformer you've got uh, a proportion between the voltage in the secondary and primary coils equal to the proportion between the number of turns in the secondary and primary coil. So if you look at the math with this, if the number of turns in the secondary coil is bigger, then you have the step-up transformer. So your voltage will increase. All right, bye-bye.